exploited view of the Centurion D5EVO electrical motor. To the left, we have the two Torex bolts that secures the gate motor into the base section. We have the armature, which is fitted with two bearings. We have the magnet system at the back, then the front and rear cover plate. To the bottom right, we have the gate motor brush system. In the front, we have springs and screws, which secures everything in place. The Centurion D5 EVO electrical gate motor. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that your bearings are fine on inspection, that they don't have any noise. Spinning freely. Look at the armature, that it's not too worn. Now, looking at the electrical casing, you will see that the magnets are more on the front this side and there's a deeper section here. Your brush system comes on the deeper side. So how to fit or assemble the electrical motor. We're going to take the magnet section. We're going to take the armature. Make sure that the shallow side is on the front and it's going to go through. Your magnets will pull the armature and it will pull it into place. Right. We're going to put it down. For demonstration purposes, we will be two people who will be assisting assembling this electrical motor to keep it focused onto the camera. If you are one person, you can assemble the whole system by yourself. So, here we need to inspect the brushes. You can see that they are quite long and they are under constant spring tension which means is we need to get them back into their guides and locked up. This can be tricky. So push the brush into the guide, take the brush wire and fit it over the holding pin. If I leave it there, you can see it stays there. There you can see the other brush and the tension spring. Put the brush back into the guide, move it up to the back, fully back, and then hook it over. Make sure that your brushes are com in, completely in the guides and that the retaining spring is in the back plate. <coughs> now what I'll be doing is pushing the armature slightly out of the electrical motor. I will then bring the brushes system and put, assemble the electrical motor. Keep on wiggling it. until completely seated down. There you can hear it's a clicking noise. Now we're going to lift the brush wire. Make sure that it's completely free. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. There we can see that both brushes are on unhooked. Now we slowly Move the electrical motor system back into place. There we have that back section. For the front, much easier. I'm going to put the front plate on, make sure the retaining pin goes into one of the gaps. Otherwise, one of the gaps 
on the front plate, otherwise it will not seat completely. Wiggle it in onto the bearing, turn it while placing it slightly. And there we have it. The motor is completely flush on all areas. Now that the electrical motor is assembled, place the Torx bolts through. And make sure that they come out on the front. The electrical motor has been assembled. Make sure that the front and back plates are flush. Use a 25 Torx. Hold it in place and screw on the plastic screw. This is just to keep the electrical motor into place. Turn the other side. Torx in. There we go. Make sure that the electrical motor is free spinning.